Shalom, beloved. A word. There is a perfect storm brewing. It is a spiritual storm created by the Most High. The judgments have come. It is a perfect storm, an unavoidable storm. And the world is on a collision course with that storm. I'm going to give you what came to me and try to remember it and say it as it came to me. What the foolish nations of the world believes will happen in a century are going to come about in a year. What they think will take a hundred years will take one year. What they believe will take decades will occur in days. The judgment is speeded up on such an exponential level that it is exploding. We are in a perfect storm. Since the corrupt lawless ones will honor neither the law of man nor of the Most High Yahuwah, the Lord's spiritual police, the angels of the Most High's judgment, are released and bringing about the punishment. I'm going to really read Deuteronomy chapter 30, verses 1. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind whether among the nations, whither the Lord have driven thee, and shall return unto the Lord thy God and shall obey his voice according to all I command thee this day. I want to skip down to verse 7. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies and upon them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord and do all his commandments which I command thee this day. There is a perfect storm, beloved, and we are watching it. It is going on worldwide. It has landed on Europe because initially it was out of Europe that the enslavers came, the Portuguese first searching for gold and then discovering people that they could take we know it was the punishment of Yahuwah. But these same said nations made a pact. They not only took Yashurev, they stole everything, not just the artifacts from the lands. They stole the name, they stole the heritage, and they dishonored the Most High. Again, what they believe will happen in a hundred years will happen in one. What they believe will happen in decades will happen in days. It is so fast. It is so strong that you cannot let your sins weigh you down. Repent because the Lord is among you. He is for you. But you must repent of your sins. Do not act as though you have no sin. And there is no self-righteousness just because we are Yasharel or the strangers among us that follow Yah. As a matter of fact, I'm going to read 2nd Esdras chapter 16, starting at the 71st, fourth verse. Listen, my elect one, says the Lord. The days of tribulation are at hand but I will live, deliver you from them. Do not fear or doubt, for God is your guide. You who keep my commandments and precepts, says the Lord, must not let your sins weigh you down or your iniquities prevail over you. We are watching a perfect storm, beloved. And it has brought the end of Babylon it has it is tearing up those people who have stolen the treasures who have lied there is no weapon 
There is no riches. There is no wisdom to reason away what Yah has brought. We are watching judgment. There will be no normal. Even the normal that we are used to, we must prepare for it to happen suddenly. We know the time of our departure has come. But just as Israel was in Egypt watching its destruction, we are doing the same now. The locusts, they are spiritual locusts tearing Babylon up. The locusts that are destroying everything that they hold so dear. The fire that is falling from the sky and burning everything up. The animal. The flood, they came upon Yasharel in a flood. They were the locusts in Yasharel's history that destroyed everything in their paths. When they enslaved us, they went after the young and able-bodied men first. They were like locusts in the land, destroying man. Then they went after the strength of the female. Finally, it became a wealth of just trading in people. They gained wealth. They built these empires. They are a testament to it. Now they want to call themselves the narrators, the geopolitics of the world. We will sit in judgment of what is right and what is wrong, this lawless, godless people. But the true judge and the true law has been loosed. So we have to mentally and spiritually prepare. You could go to work, you could go to school, you could go to the store one day and suddenly everything is changed because normal is gone. There will be no normal. And everything they use against Yasharel will turn against them. I'm going to let this play, beloved, I also want you to see Europe faces the worst drought in 500 years. They created a drought in the motherland, a drought of youth, a drought of culture, a drought of our greatest resource, which was our people. Now the drought is upon them. It is the judgment and it is coming suddenly about climate change. Scientists have tried explaining it for years. They've given lectures, they've published papers, but none of it has really moved our world leaders. Maybe pictures will. Take a look at the first set. It may look like a desert, but it's not. What you're looking at is a reservoir in Spain, 84% empty. You can see the paddle boats and water slides abandoned nearby. Aquatic life driven to death. The reason climate change. Spain had its hottest July since 1961. Some parts of the Iberian Peninsula are at their driest in 1200 years. Let that sink in, 1200 years. Now for the next set of pictures. What you're looking at is Italy's longest river, River Po. Large sandbanks have started appearing around it. Why? Again, climate change. This region is facing its worst drought in 70 years. As the river pulled back, it revealed some ghosts of the past, like this one, a bomb from World War II. The device was found by fishermen in the region. They called in the army, which carried out a controlled explosion. Now we go to France. See those beautiful sand plains? What if I told you those are not plains? What you're looking at is a dried up river. Not a single drop of water remains. All the tourist boats have been beached as a result. The restaurants nearby have nearly shut. The reason? Our next set of pictures will give you an idea. Wildfires are raging across southwestern France. Nearly 6,000 hectares of forests have been burned. This blaze follows two wildfires in the month of July. Put together, the scorch, they scorch more than 20,000 hectares. What do these pictures tell you? A crisis of biblical proportions. Yeah. You've seen the pictures. Yeah. Now let me show you the data. 63% of land in Britain and Europe is facing drought, 63%. That's almost the size of India. 46% of the land is under warning. 17% is 
under a state of alert. It's a perfect climate storm. The rains have reduced to a trickle. The temperatures have hit multi-decade highs. As a result, Europe's rivers are drying. The reservoirs barely have any water left. And the situation... They're calling it biblical scenes across Europe, Spain, France, Britain. I'm going to read from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 19. The great temptations which thine eyes saw, and the signs and the wonders and the mighty hand and the stretched out arm, whereby the Lord thy God brought thee out. So shall the Lord thy God do unto all the people of whom thou art afraid. It is a perfect storm, beloved, and it is not done. This is nothing compared to what is about to happen. There is nothing they can do. They have no wisdom. It is the judgment of Yah upon them. And whether you are in Europe, whether you are in the islands, whether you are in South America or North America, you have to be prepared for suddenly because there will be no normal. Yah is coming for us and he is bringing pure destruction on all those nations who have touched the apple of his eye. Not only do they not want to stop, they would not stop if Yah did not come. But he is showing you ever since the 400 years were up. All hell has broken loose. Their prognosticators are confused because there is nothing they can do. And their pharaohs sit in their homes in the clefts of rocks in their high homes and palatial estates. There is no political mind that can do anything. There is no agreement they can make. There is no billionaire that can stop what the Most High is doing. And you have to be ready, beloved, for suddenly. Because again, they have even gone in the way of Moses. And what do I mean? They are targeting children of Yasharel but it is their children. Just as the decree went out, when the Passover came, it is their children who are under judgment because of the sins of the father and the sins of their mothers. This judgment comes from on high. It has gone loose. And we are watching a perfect storm even I, when I think of it, we are so used to normal. Right now, we're in our homes, we're at our jobs, we're on the street, we're among friends, family, communities. But everything you see is about to disappear. Because on our way to the wilderness, we know we're going to see Egypt's destruction. I'm going to let it continue, beloved is the same across the continent. Southern England had its driest July since 1836. Overall, it was Britain's driest July in 20 years. The government has declared amber alert for the next four days. Temperatures are so high, it could trigger fires. In France, they already have. It was their driest July since records began in 1959. Three countries breached 40 degrees Celsius last month, Spain, France, and the UK. Now, remember, we're talking about Europe. Their summers are supposed to be pleasant and cheery. It's supposed to be the travel season. Instead, Europe is literally baking. We haven't analyzed uh, uh, fully the event because it, it is still ongoing. But based on uh, my experience, uh, I think uh, that this is uh, perhaps uh, even more uh, uh, extreme than uh, the 2018. Just to give you an idea, the 2018 uh, drought uh, was... Uh, uh, so extreme that uh, looking back at the at least at the last 500 years, uh, 
there were, there were no other events similar to the drought of 2018. But this year, I think uh, it is uh, really worse than the 2018. This drought has serious economic consequences. You see, rivers in Europe are not just vital ecosystems, they're transport routes. They carry around one ton of freight per citizen every year. Total value, more than $80 billion, eight zero. But right now, those rivers look like this. And just to bring it to fruition for you, beloved, when Yasharel was enslaved, Cotton was gold. Yasharel, out of the U.S. alone, supplied over two-thirds of the world's cotton. This one group in this land was worked to such a degree. When you look at this and you think, my God, it's changing everything. These are the things that happened to Yasharel. They lost everything. And Yahuwah is reversing the curse. When we read in the book of Deuteronomy, it says once we have experienced both the blessing and the curse, and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse, the blessing and the curse, and thou shalt call upon Yah. He shall put these same curses upon thine enemies and those that hated him. We are in a perfect storm, beloved. And we are watching nations turn on nations. They are being destroyed within and without. That is how Yasharel was also taken. You have to look at the parallel. There were wars going on in the motherland. And one group sold the other group that they had enslaved and or captured militarily. And the Babylonians came and took them away. It was war. There also war, famine, fire, disease. Everything that happened to us they profited off of it. The world's riches is now being vomited back up, giving back that which never belonged to them. But one of the final returns is Yasharim. We are watching, beloved, the perfect storm. Those are the mighty rivers of Europe, now reduced to dried sand beds. Without their water, Europe cannot grow food, it cannot transport cargo, it cannot even generate electricity. Western Europe's hydropower output was down 20% in the second quarter of this year. How is Europe planning to tackle this crisis? Each government has announced its own measures. France, for instance, has set up a crisis team. Their main priority is ensuring drinking water. Reports say 100 French municipalities are short of drinking water. Italy has declared a drought emergency. Water rationing has been announced in cities like Verona and Pisa. Rice production has been hit. Farmers are unable to produce enough rice for the famous Italian risotto. The next... You know, when you go to the store and you get Uncle Ben's or Carolina rice, when Yasharel was brought here, Yasharel grew rice, not just here, but in the lands where they came from. You have to look at the parallel of what is going on. Just as Yasharel lost everything, Yah is removing those things taken, those things honored and revered. Netherlands has declared a nationwide water sh shortage. People have been asked to take quicker showers, also not to wash their cars or water their gardens. In Germany, all the focus is on the Rhine. It is the financial heartbeat of Germany. You see, the Rhine requires a basic water level to support shipping if 
if it fails below falls below that rather ships cannot pass germany says it is days away from falling below that level freight ships are already sailing at 25% capacity one of the things you also have to understand about germany beloved when you look at the house of windsor when you look at england those people are german they literally changed their name from their german name to windsor if i'm not mistaken it was during world war 1 because they had ties to germany they were german if you look at i believe his name was king edward the one that abdicated so that queen elizabeth's father took the throne he has pictures with him and hitler they go back to germany it was britain that became rich during these colonial and imperialistic eras which take it to germany not even to mention what the germans did to the namibian and herero people the slaughters the uh, medical experiments many of which are testified to in uh many of their what do you call museums where they have skulls and it is just horrific but again the perfect storm has come it is the judgment of yah he is cleansing the world and there is nothing that will remove it what they think will happen in a century will happen in a year what they think will happen in decades will happen in days and all of this will happen suddenly so even us who have our normal lives whatever that is normal will disappear without warning beloved and although we are ready to go home we have to spiritually and mentally ask our huwa to prepare us for suddenly again yasharel was there when europe was being destroyed the spiritual locus has come the caterpillars the fires the frogs the hail and there are many videos of destructive hail they talk of hail the size of golf balls or baseballs there is hail coming so large and so great that if it hits them they are gone and yah's judgment has come the spiritual police of yahua are loose and judgment is certain those who gave no mercy shall receive no mercy those who are merciful shall be blessed particularly those who honor yah and his people suddenly beloved suddenly if this is not an emergency i don't know what is the pictures the data the testimonies all of them hint at a climate emergency in europe it is not some distant threat anymore it is very much here and as we prepare to enter the winter season more questions remain yes the heat will disappear but what climatic shock will winter behold we on yes beloved now before we go a prayer yahu of our ancestors yahu of abraham isaac and yashorel we glorify honor and praise thee we ask that through the word of the, the through thy word and the beloved blood that was shed for our redemption thou cleanse us from our sins let them not weigh us down but bring us ever closer to you father let our spirits our hearts and our minds be ever mindful of you circumcise us father spiritually mentally and physically and let us be prepared to enter into the wilderness and let us not fear but know for certainty that thou art with us and we will glorify thee as we recognize our own sins why we went into captivity and we see the judgment that is come upon the nation 
that thy word has brought forth. We know suddenly it is coming. Thank you, Father. Praise, honor, and glory unto thee forevermore. Strengthen us, keep us, guide us, bind us together. Let everything our enemy does to try to destroy us turn on them and open the world's eyes to who we are as we wake up to you. Bring us home. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, prepare us spiritually, mentally, and physically for the sudden departure, for the sudden destruction that we may depart and we depart peacefully, although we know the world will have to give us back what it took from us. Let us be prepared for the suddenly as we watch this perfect storm of your judgment. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, glorifying the Ruach Kakadesh, which is thy Holy Spirit, and giving you all praise and honor. Amen. Suddenly, beloved, we are watching a perfect storm. And again, whatever they believe will come in a century shall come in a day. Whatever they shall come in a year, forgive me. What they believe shall take a hundred years shall happen in a year. What they believe shall happen over decades shall come upon them suddenly in days. I am decreeing and declaring what the Lord put upon my heart. May he protect our children because Pharaoh wants their destruction. But what they don't understand is the judgment they put out on our children. Yahuwah has put out on theirs. Shalom, beloved. A word.